So in this tutorial, we're going to be making a bracket, and that bracket will look like this guy right here. All right, and I'm just going to show you the progress uh, as it is happening. So I'm going to take this endpoint all the way up to the top. Your first box is going to look like that. We're going to cut out the sides of the box. We're going to cut out a section of the middle of the box. We're going to drill two holes, one on the right side of the base and the other on the left side of the base. Then we're going to fill it, um, these edges down here. So we've got one, two, three. There's a fill on the back, four, five, six. And we're going to fill it this side and this side. And then we're going to do a whole nother fillet, and it's just a smaller diameter fillet on the rest of it so we don't have any sharp edges. And then we're going to put two more holes in uh, the center of this bracket. And at the end, it's going to look like this. And if you put a nice glossy finish on it through the material appearance, it will look just like mine. So I'm going to go down here. We're going to start a brand new part. And notice I've sent you a Google Doc. And uh, when it says uh, from the file menu, select new, that's this guy right here. I'm selecting new, and this is new for us, but we're going to select metric, and we're going to select standard mm, which, which means millimeter, dot ipt. So click that one, and then we're going to click create. So from here, we have a blank graphics window and we are going to start a new sketch. So I click start a new sketch and we're actually going to do it on the X Y plane. So from the instructions that are on your um, Google Doc to now, uh, there may be some variations uh, so you'll have to check. I went ahead and picked the two point center just because I like starting in the center. So from here we want it to be hundred and fifty six millimeters long and then the height, so I'm going to click tab and that causes the other blue and I want the height to be 87. Okay, so when I get this and I click the front view, this is what I should get. And I'm going to finish the sketch, click my home button, and here's my first sketch. Now I'm going to extrude that out to 50. <clears throat> And this is my first box that I was showing you earlier. This is the first box. Now that this first box is done, I want to cut out those two sides. So I'm going to right click on the front of this. And then I'm going to click new sketch. I want to do a new sketch on the front. All right. So now, <clears throat> instead of this rectangle that has the center uh, dimension, we're going to go two point because I want to start at the top and not the center. So I'm going to click rectangle and hit the two point. I'm going to go to the very top where it turns green. Click once and then let it drag it down. So from this, you're going to, in your Google Doc, you're going to look at the instructions and it actually tells you it's going to be a, a 16 by 65. Sorry, a 32 by 65. So that's going to be 32 there. And the other one, it's going to be 65 there. And that's what that's going to look like there. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to turn it green, and I'm going over 32 and down 65, just like so. Okay, and then I'm going to finish the sketch. And then once that's done, we're going to extrude, which is going to be a cut. So it's going to be this guy right there, and that automatically changes. It's going to be a cut, and we'll click that out and click that out and it should just disappear. You have this little transparent box of where it used to be. Click OK and there it is so that we're getting closer to um, this guy right here. Okay, So now we want to take out the center so I'm going to right click on the front again, new sketch and I want to take out a, a, a portion of the center of that. Alright so now we need to use the rectangle tool. Again, I'm going to use the two point again because I want to start at the top. So I'm going to make, start at the very top, and I'm going to drag that down. So this is going to be 50 inches, I'm sorry, 50 millimeters wide. All right, so that's that one. And then the distance to the bottom of that is going to be 58. 
So I'm going to change this one to 58. So notice the numbers, 50 wide and 58 from top to bottom, and that's what it's going to look like. Okay. Now, the one thing that we have not done is it's not centered from left to right. So we've got to center this from left to right. So from, I'm going to click dimension, click on this side, and I want it to be 21 millimeters from this part right here to where I am getting ready to cut out the center. So click OK. What If I do this to this side, it should be 21, and it is. And it's not going to let me do anything, but I just wanted to check and make sure it was centered, and it is. So I'm going to finish sketch. There's my box. So now I want to make sure we're going to cut away. So we're going to do it extrude again. I want to make sure that I cut away the right amount. So again, we're going to click the cut button. There, change that. And this one's going to be to 27. And notice when I type in 27, it shows me how deep that is, and that looks right. So there it is. So again, going back to the bracket, starting to take shape from there to there. That's what we're looking to do. All right. So the next step is we're going to drill some holes here on the top of both um, of the base. So I'm going to do a right click, new sketch, and then I'm going to uh, put a point, and right there's the point, and just put a point anywhere, okay, because we're going to dimension it. And that point is going to be 23 millimeters, I'm going to click dimension, 23 millimeters from the back to the point. So click 23, and there that is. And then it's going to be 16 millimeters from here to here. And I'm going to make that 16. And that's exactly where I want it to be. And I'm going to finish the sketch. Now, over here is the hole option. So I'm going to click hole. And then I'm going to click on that point. And it already recognizes that there is a point there. But now I need to change it from a uh, just a regular point, And we need to make it into a counter sink or a counter bore hole. So this first one is going to be a counter bore hole. And so if you hover over these, you can see this one, this says counter bore, and this one over here says counter sink. I want the counter bore. This is a spot face that kind of looks like the same. We want a counter bore. So I click counter bore, and then if you look at your instructions, it's going to tell you how deep or how wide first off. So uh, this is the diameter. I want that to be, uh, I want to change that to 18 millimeters. Then it's going to tell me uh, how deep the top part is. So from right here to right here. And that is going to be this number. So I want that number to be 10 millimeters. Makes it a little thicker. And then um, it's asking me what I want this diameter right here to be. So I'm going to change this number to 13. So when I do that, I think I've got all, is that 0.5? So we want to go through, um, so we want this drill point to go through the whole thing. And I want to make sure that it is, and it's not going through the whole thing. So we need to make sure that it's going through the whole thing. And so the termination, here we go. We want to go, there's the distance. There's one that says through all. We want to click that through all so that it goes through the whole thing and say OK. All right. So there it is. There's our first counter bore hole right there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side using um, the same dimensions we just did. So I'm going to do this a little quicker. Got a point here, right? And then we're going to dimension it from the back to the point is 23. And then from the side over is going to be 16. Say OK. We're going to do a whole option again. And there it is. Notice that it recognized what I did on the other side and it gave me all the same dimensions so I didn't have to do anything and now they're exactly the same.
Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put the holes here before we do any fillet. So I'm going to do a new sketch uh, on the back of this, and then I'm going to put my two points where I want them to be. So I'm just going to put them randomly, and then I'm going to change the dimension. So I got my two points; they're green dimension. So from the top to this. A first point is going to be 15 from the top to my second hole is going to be 42 and then from the side here should be 23 it's going to be off-centered I don't know if you guys recognize that but it's going to be off-centered a little bit which is okay it's just what it's calling for so so it's 23 so finish sketch and there they are so now we're going to use the hole option again. These are going to be counter sink instead of counter bore. So we're going to hit this guy. And now we need to change um, what it's asking for. So up here at the top, the diameter is going to be 20 millimeters here. And then um, the diameter of our bottom is going to be 13 and our degree right here, you're going to change that to 90. Okay, and then make sure it says through all, and it does. And now we have our counter sink hole. So counter bore, counter sink, counter sink, and then down here are counter bores. Now the only other thing that we need to do is we're going to change the fillets. And so there's two different types of fillets, and so two different sizes of fillets. So we're going to hit fillet. All right, and I'm going to move this over here, and the fillet is going to be 12, so you can change that now. And we've got a couple things to click. This one, see where that line turns up? Click that one. We're going to round that one, and I could change, I can move this, or I can look through it. So that line is the same thing as this line. All right, got those two. Got this one. Got this one there. And then we're going to hit the two back ones just like that. Those are the ones that need to be filleted right now. So I'm going to say OK. And if you ever forget one, or if I forget one, we could always go back and fill it more. And then we're going to do another fillet. And this time the fillet's going to be 3 millimeters instead of 12. So change that to 3. And now we just need to hit everything else hit everything that you can find up to this point okay because this is probably going to be uh, metal and so these fillets will keep whoever's working with the metal will keep it from um, cutting them because obviously sharp edges will end up cutting somebody okay so there that is I think I've got all my fillets and I say okay and now, if we look and just hit this home button, hit this bracket, hit this bracket, they look the same other than changing the appearance. If we wanted to change the appearance, I could go up here to tools and go to material and I can type in uh, metal and it gives me all the different types of metal. Maybe I want stainless steel, click that and oops, stainless steel and hit this little arrow right there. And now I have a stainless steel bracket. And there it is. There's one. There's the other. Okay. All right. That's how you do it. Hopefully you learned something. And uh, we might have missed one fillet. Nope, that's the other one. Sorry. Okay. All done.